So I sat with the frog yesterday. It was me and about maybe 10 other people. We sat in a circle in a, a big room, and uh, we had uh, the medicine woman. She came, and she was actually from uh, Germany. She had brought the uh, frog poison from uh, Peru, or she had had a ship there, and it was actually at a friend of mine's uh, place. So I was a pretty, uh, somewhat as comfortable as I was going to be um, considering, you know, what I had seen on the internet and what I had uh, heard. So this is why I want to give you a rundown of what um, what happened and how uh, I experienced it. So um, she took us uh, in batches of three and then uh, burned uh, the spots in the arm and then we would sit back down and we would drink uh, half a gallon of the water that we were uh, told to bring. And then um, when each person drank that amount of water, they would go back and she did what was a, like a test. So just one of the points, she would put the uh, frog uh, poison on and then the people would go and sit back down. She wanted to see how um, we would react to it, which I thought was really great. And she had two people that worked with her that were really uh, taking care of us, uh, which also was great. So um, I got my I got the three burns on my arm because it was my first time. Uh, the other people got five, and they also some of the people that came back did things uh, on their uh, spine for the chakra or behind their ear. But this was my first time. She said arm or leg, and I didn't want it on the leg. So um, I drank my water, and while I was drinking my water, the girl uh, next to me had already got her test point, and um, she totally passed out, which totally fucking freaked me out. And uh, they had the people there, they helped her, they, they sat her up, and everything was cool, and her eyes rolled back in um, her head, and it was... Uh, it was a fucking, it, it, it freaked me out a little bit because I am a fucking fainter and I come from a long line of fainters. Um, so eventually she calls me over to put the test uh, spot on me to see how I would do. And well, as I walked back to sit back down, well, firstly, when the burns were put there, it was like electrical. It was, it was a little intense, but so I walked back to my space after she put the test thing on me, and I could already feel like uh, my hands vibrating, and I could feel myself starting to get a bit of a cold sweat. And my friend whose place it was, she said, you're doing good. Are you okay? You're doing good. Are you okay? <laughs> which was, which is funny because I must have looked fucked up. And I was probably like really white and pale and... uh I could feel tingling and vibration, heavy, like kind of vibrating uh, in my feet and hands. And I start, I was sweating, just like sweating and sweating and sweating. And I had told uh, the leader of the ceremony that good chance I'm going to pass out. If anyone's going to pass out, I'm going to pass out. So she had one of her people uh, behind me. But I started to really get like tunnel vision because I was probably, my adrenaline was coming up and I was probably... I was trying to open myself and let go to it, but you know, in my instincts were taking over a little bit, so the adrenaline was pumping up and sweating, 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 sweating. And her helper guy, uh, one of the two helpers, I think he was right next to me, and someone was, uh, I think my friend was touching my foot saying, you know, you're doing great, you're doing great. And then my stomach started to get uh, really weird, so I said, uh, I, I need to use the bathroom. So he grab my hand, I pulled myself up, but I, did, I couldn't stand, so I was like this, and I was like walking with my head down, he walked me to the bathroom, and uh, so I got in the bathroom, sat down, and then just started to purge my intestines, like right, pretty much right away, it was like really quick, and I didn't expect that, and not a lot of people talked about that in the videos that I saw, the purging from, you know, the floor, your, you know, your intestines rather than just throwing up. So um, I'm sitting there on the toilet and thank God the it was a really small bathroom because I could put my hands like on the wall and my head on the wall and I was just, I'm like, I can't believe 
I just, you know, paid money to feel like this. And I'm sweating and I'm sweating so much. It's like, it's dripping off me like someone has a hose and they're like dropping water on top of me. And I'm, I'm purging more and more and more from the floor, but not throwing up. So diarrhea, not, it's just very loose. Uh, um, and I'm like, geez, what, how much is up in there and how long this is go, going to go? And to the point where someone knocked on the door and they said, are you okay? And I said, you know, I'm still releasing, I'm still releasing. And I totally, of course, lost track of time because it was all very like, ah, I'm losing my, this is kind of on the edge of very intense and, you know, even just totally fucking intense. So I finally think, okay, great, I'm finished because God knows I don't want to pass out and crap myself in, with all these people. It would just be terrible. So I go back and I sit back down and I'm starting to normalize a little bit. So the head of the ceremony, she looks at me. So I, I walk over and she says, are you ready? I said, fuck, I don't know. I'm as ready as I'm going to be. Um, she goes, okay, do you want me to go light or heavy? And I'm like, at this point, I'm like, man, you should go light. I mean, I was already just totally like knocked out, um, go light. So she puts it on me and I'm like, okay. And I walk uh, back to my space and like I told you before, I was like kind of tingling and vibrating. It was just like the next level of that, just like, like totally just like everything tingling, everything vibrating. And this is what I really didn't expect, and I'm not sure I heard anyone else talk about this on any of their videos online, was I started to get this emotional story in my head. I had gone through something a couple of months ago um, that was very traumatic for me. It was a change, in, and I was watching it inside of my head, um, and I was experiencing the emotions of both myself and the person as we went through this. It was kind of a breakup situation. And it was really, really like totally like I was purging. It was like a, just this overwhelming sadness and kind of like, like something had died, like a part of my life had ended. And I was witnessing the in complete emotional impact of it in me and in the person that I was with at that moment. I turned to my friend uh, whose uh, space we were in and I just I said, I'm, I'm so sad right now, I don't even know what to do. I was crying, it was crazy. Um, and then one of the uh, woman's helpers came over and they're putting uh, sage smoke underneath my face and kind of fanning it into my face, um, which made me purge and I just threw up all of the, and it seemed like mostly water, but it was a lot, threw up like three or four times. I kept trying to lay down, they're like, don't lay down, don't lay down, so they would like keep holding me up. But to tell you the truth, all I wanted in the world in that moment was to lay down and just be in the fetal position. Um, and would have probably, if I would have had the strength or the wherewithal to do it, I would have just been like, fuck off, I'm going to lay down. But they were there and they were actually, they did a really great job. They held me up. I threw it, they're like, hold the bucket up, hold the bucket up, because they didn't want me like falling into it or passing out into it. It was really fucking intense, man, like totally intense. So I, I purged and I purged and I purged like maybe three or four times and basically it was all almost mostly the water uh, not not a lot else came up most of it for me came out uh through the bottom having to use the toilet and then eventually so again i'm like trying to lay down it's like some i'm like some crazed like animal that just you know it's a, it's a very human thing to just want comfort so i just wanted the comfort i just wanted to all i wanted to do was fucking lay down and just be still. And eventually, the woman goes, okay, okay, let him lay down. So I lay down, and I actually just laid on my back with my legs bent, and uh, I started to feel, I started to normalize a little bit. And uh, so it's interesting for people to talk about 
a, like a euphoria. And I, I believe there was like a great feeling after I purged and a kind of a great feeling when I felt like, because I don't know how long it took, you know, because everyone says about 15 minutes to a half hour, this whole scenario, but I'm on like some, I'm on the edge of almost like panic on some level. And certainly you're just like, you know, you don't want this, you want this, it's kind of, because there's a, there's a bit of suffering. It's very, very uncomfortable. You want it to stop. So I don't know how long it was, long it really, truly lasted. Like I said, it was very tunnel visioning, but I, laying down, I felt like peace. But I don't know if I felt peace because of the frog, because of the ceremony, or because, like, now I don't feel so bad. So, like, now I'm not running to the toilet, now I'm not throwing up and no one's blowing sage in my face, and I'm laying down, and I felt good. But did I, I don't know if I felt good because it was over for me, or if I felt good because I felt good. So... Big question for me, or maybe for you, is, well, I'll, I'll address that in one second. So I know, I, I understand all of the benefits of why we would want to purge the system. Um, and you could gain all of these things through different methods, but this is a very quick, boom, it's in, you're getting all this stuff. But you could instead, you could go sit in a sauna for an hour, you could... Um, you could purge in uh, in other ways. There, you know, oils you can take. Um, you could go to a rock and roll show and sweat and go crazy and purge out like the emotional things that uh, I purged out. But you know, this is like, boom, really quick in and very intense. And today, so it's been less than 24 hours. It's been more than t about 28 hours since I did this. So. Today I feel light, I feel kind of clean on the inside, which is great, everything is emptied out. Um, but again, the great question is, would I do it again? Uh, I don't I don't think so. <laughs> uh, thank you for watching and listening. Um, you should try everything once, that's what I did. Enjoy your time with the frog, thank you very much.